Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving proportionalities. This is standard 6.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Dennis is going to make $245 for selling furniture, and this $245 extra was 7% of the total value of the furniture he sold. So we need to find the total value of the, of the furniture that he sold. So we're looking at this proportionality. We can solve proportionalities if we can make equivalent fractions and as long as we know three of the four terms. So let's see how we can set this up. So he made $245. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that right there. And I'm going to say that that is related to 7%. So let's just make a very strange looking fraction here. $245 over 7%. In order to make this a proportionality, we need to have an equivalent fraction that has the same terms in the same spot. So we need to have dollars in the numerator. We need to have a percent in our denominator. We don't know how much money he made. That's the question, so that's our unknown. So we have to know the total of the denominator on the other side. And it doesn't really tell us, but we can make an inference that if we want the total value, total values are worth 100%. So this is our only clue. It's kind of a tough one, but there's our other number. And if we do this, we can do cross multiplication. Cross multiplication means 245 times 100, so that would be 245, simply with two zeros, is going to be equal 7 times our, let's just call it x, our mystery number here. Those two should be equal. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, what happens if I put the 7% up on top? 7% over 245. Right, as long as you've got them in the correct spots looking across, so we're going to get our 100% up top, and then our dollar signs down at the bottom, we're still going to get the same cross multiplication. We're still going to get 7x, 245 with 0, 0. So it doesn't really matter if you flip it, what's in the numerator, what's in the denominator. We're still going to get the same thing. So... 7x equals, so let's just take a look at that. We're going to get 7x equals 24,500. So how do I get x by itself to isolate the variable? Divide both sides by 7. So that's going to leave that on its own. Now we need to do a little bit of long division here. 2, 4, 5, 0, 0. So 7 goes into 24 three times. That's 21. Let's bring down just one number at a time. Look at that. 7 goes into 35 five times. That's nice and even. And we need to make sure we bring down the correct number of zeros. And let's bring down one more. So it looks like my answer is 3,500. But look at A and C are very similar, so how can I double check? Well, if I believe my full price is 3500 that means 7% of it should be 245 bucks. So let's double check that. Let's take my full price of 3500 and multiply that by 7%, which is the same as 7 hundredths. have to know that. Move the decimal over twice the left, and we're going to get some zeros here. We're going to get that's 35. That's 7 times 3 is 21. Add that 3 back in is 24. That next row is just going to be a whole bunch of zeros, so I don't need to do that. I've got two digits behind the decimal in my factor, so I need two digits behind the decimal in my product, which gets me back to my 245. So that is a check and check. So here is my answer, $3,500 A.